The House Select Committee is preparing for its next round of hearings and a report on its findings. For more than a year, members have been piecing together testimony from over a thousand witnesses, along with videos, texts, emails, and other documents. The committee's chairman says the goal is to restart hearings on September 28th. Joining me now is committee member Jamie Raskin, Democratic Congressman from Maryland. Thank you for coming on, Congressman. So let's look ahead now to that next hearing at the end of this month. Can you give us any more information about what we can expect to learn? Uh, new testimony, new witnesses, any stunning new information? Give us a glimpse. Well, um, the meeting is at least provisionally scheduled for September 28th, and we're hoping we'll be able to um, do the hearing on the 28th of September. And, um, you know, this is a hearing where I hope we will be able to complete the story so America has uh, a comprehensive understanding of uh, the former president's efforts to overthrow the 2020 election, and we're able to put that um, in its complete historical and political context, and we're able to understand the coordination of the inside political coup with the outdoors uh, violent insurrection that came indoors and overran uh, both the House and the Senate, driving us out of our chambers and drove the vice president uh, out of the Capitol. So we're hoping to pull the whole thing together, and we have new information about different aspects of our investigation. What aspects? Well, I think we're we're filling in a, a lot of gaps, things that were you know left. Um, left before um, still open, um, and some new things have opened up, of course. Um, you know, there is the mystery of these um, many missing texts from the Secret Service. Um, we want to know how those texts came to be missing, and more importantly, uh, we want to try to get the information that was in those texts and see what we can find and see how revealing they are in um, a corroborating way of the basic elements of the story that we set forth before. So have you learned anything more uh, from those texts uh, in terms of what has been recovered, not recovered? I, you know, in general, let me just say this without going to any specific piece of evidence. We've learned a lot more since um, we, um, you know, took our break uh, several weeks ago. Uh, we're able to fill in a lot more about um, the intentionality with which these events took place. Uh, we're able to fill in a lot more about the movement of different actors, um, and we're able to uh, fill in more about um, what actually went down on January 6th itself. So I think uh, people who uh, have taken an interest in this unprecedented and obviously historic event of an assault on an American presidential election, an attempt by uh, a sitting president who lost an election to seize the presidency, I think we'll find um, the, the remaining details that have been uh, unearthed um, very instructive uh, to complete the picture. Um, I'm also uh, very interested in um, America understanding to what extent the various kinds of threats that we saw unfold on January 6th are still out there. Mm -hmm. um, I think we need to understand to what extent American democracy is still under attack and to what extent our elections um, are still vulnerable to insurrection, coup, political violence, and sabotage. All right. So what I hear from you is that uh, this will round out the picture that the committee has been putting forward for, for many months now. But the bottom line is there are still key testimony and documents that the committee has not received. Um, I know you're still talking to Newt Gingrich as well as Jenny Thomas, the wife of Justice Thomas. At what point does that end and the committee moves into just getting its final report out? Well, as you mentioned, we've talked to more than a thousand people. We've looked at uh, tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of pages of documents um, at this point. And uh, I don't know whether there's ever been a congressional investigation of right. this breathtaking scope 
and comprehensiveness. Um, and yet still it is, um, you know, a very strong first draft of history. And undoubtedly there are people who have been um, concealing things and people not coming forward. Um, and uh, we know we have to go with all the evidence we got, but we feel very confident um, that we understand all of the basic elements um, of the multiple offenses against American democracy that took place over the course of these events. Okay, but bottom line is, as it stands now, do you expect to speak with Newt Gingrich or Jenny Thomas, and I should also uh, put in the former uh, vice president, Mike Pence, as well? Just help us get some clarity on that. Well, no, I appreciate the interest. As you know, what we've not commented on specific witnesses who are coming in. We don't want to interfere with that process. Um, and, you know, all I can say is that we are uh, and have been and remain deeply interested in the testimony of anyone who has relevant in information uh, that is material to all of the principal components of this assault on American constitutional democracy. And so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, even, even at this late date, I would say if there are people out there who have been wrestling with their conscience or who believe they may have something that they didn't realize before was relevant, then, you know, bring it in. We can obviously, um, you know, screen out um, people right. who are engaged in, you know, frivolous submissions. But um, if there are people who... Uh, have had a change of heart, and certainly we've had people who've had a change of heart. If they're people who are recognizing the relevance of something that they may not have uh, understood before, then come on in, bring it in. Um, we're just trying to get the complete and total truth out to the American people. That's our charge under House Resolution 503. It's the people's democracy, right. and but the people let me just have quickly, a right to know who are right. Yeah. On new, but on new, I know you don't want to talk about witnesses coming in, but Newt Gingrich, uh, Jenny Thomas, uh, Mike Pence. I mean, the committee has been very open, sending, you know, releasing letters to the public, saying we want to hear from you. So that's why I, I think it, it is fair to ask for an update on where things stand there. Um, you know, but I, I can't tell you because I don't know, you know, the up to the minute update on where we okay. are on different people and I you know I just I don't want to interfere in those negotiations that are always delicate and but we want yeah. people to come in and that they should understand like they they have a lawyer there obviously if they think they're incriminating themselves in some way they can assert the fifth amendment we respect that um, but in general everybody owes the congress his or her truthful testimony about what took place all right congressman Jamie Raskin thanks for your time tonight you bet. Thanks for having me.